It's early Saturday morning, man. I'm asleep. Trying to get up, about to wake up, to figure out what I'm going to do for the day. And I turn on my phone like I always do before I get out to bed and I try to see what's going on. Sometimes I look at my stock, sometimes I look at the news. And lo and behold, what do I see? I see the stat line from last night's game. Utah Jazz, New Orleans Port, Pelham. And I see the young bull, Donovan Mitchell's stat line. Now, I, I did not see any portion of the game. I promise you that I have not seen one second of any highlight. But all I know is as we about to get into this video i'm watching this with you all i know is there are about 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 gms that ought to be fired right now starting with whoever the hell is in charge in new york whoever the hell is in charge in Orlando and for damn sure whoever the hell is in charge in Detroit even though my pisses are doing okay they doing they, they all right they all right they doing okay right now but I was screaming at the damn television when we stepped up the pick I said yo Donovan Mitchell is still there Donovan Mitchell is still there he was my sixth ranked player Go back in some of my earlier videos. Hear me talk about Donovan Mitchell. Go, go to my other channel. I have another channel. I got three channels on YouTube, by the way, which is why I haven't been on here. I apologize. Who was the first person to tell you about Donovan Mitchell on YouTube? Go and look at the video. Is Donovan Mitchell the next D-Wade? And I think we have an answer, ladies and gentlemen. Let, let me get into this video. It's going to be hard for me to do this video, man. It's going to be real hard for me to do this. But let's, we got to do it. I'm using this new program, y'all. I love it, but I can't rewind. All right. So I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do the rewind thing where I go back and all that. At least I haven't figured that out. So let's, let's get into this video. At the, the yellow jerseys on Arena. what in the world so why they colorful characters and hopefully the force will be with the jazz against anthony davis and the pelicans right now oh they on out the full force on that we starting off the game with a three oh my god starting off the game with a three the utah jazz have been looking for a guard <laughs> Second play again. I mean, you go back to uh, Dante Exum, who I loved coming out of college. There's Dante Exum is one of the few guys I've, I've been wrong about. Uh, ironically, Trey Burke was the other guy I was wrong about. Trey Burke was a beast in college. Player of the year. Oh, my goodness. This joker is not hitting rim. <clears throat> but I think they have found their – oh, Jesus. If he had, if he had a finished that dunk, I would have literally ended the video. I'm not, I'm not playing. I would have ended the video, man. This dude is averaging 26 points over the last four games. If you didn't know that, I do, I do know. Oh, the cross. And that's the thing. He just, he don't just score. He's a basketball player. I'm, I'm right. You know, sometimes the Utah Jazz got him running a uh, point guard. All right, fast there. 
So that is that is Jarebko. You know what? Utah is the perfect place for Jarebko. For so for so many reasons, man. I'm I'm telling you, them you them, them, I'm I'm gonna say this and it's the truth. Them Utah Jazz folk, they love them white boys, man. They will find a white and they get hoop too. Andre Karolinko. They they gotta have them a white boy that can hoop. Nice. Nice. Oh, 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 <laughs> If that didn't look like D-Wade, I don't know what does. If that didn't look like D-Man, I wish I could rewind. That is vintage D-Wade right here. That is vintage D-Wade right there. They about the same size. D-Wade 6'4", he's 6'3". I mean, he must go and light him up in the fourth because I, I see a good game. I don't I don't see what he did yet. You, but you know what? He he gets to the line a lot. Foot on the line. His foot was on the line right there. 27 now. He, he, man, he can get to the hole against whoever he want, man. You can't stop him. You think you're with him. Who bringing the ball up the, the, the floor? Who bringing it up? The rookie. The rookie. Do they got this dude playing? He's playing point guard right now. He's playing point guard right now. Bam. This joker is the truth. Here we go again. Same play. Same play. He going to make the right decision. Good pass. He is a basketball player, ladies and gentlemen. He's not just a dunker. This guy knows what he's doing. He's making it look easy. Who's got the ball? The young rookie. Mitchell with 36, and it continues to add. Mitchell again. Man, this is a joke, man. He's making it look easy. I love the Utah crowd, man. Let you listen, man. I love true basketball fans. Detroit need to step up right now. They sorry ass fans. We got a decent team. They not even showing up to a brand new stadium. These Utah fans, man, they are legit basketball fans, bro. Unbelievable. He can't stop smiling. Forty-one points. I don't even know how many steals. I don't even know the full stat line. Utah, you finally have a star. You have a star. Embrace this young man. Support this young man. I'm a fan. I ain't nowhere near Utah. I am a fan. Right now, legit, if not for, uh, uh, for, for uh, Ben Simmons, this dude is the rookie of the year right now. Can you imagine the 76ers with Donovan Mitchell? What do you have? Oh, that was just the fourth quarter. 12 minutes, 17 points just in the fourth quarter. Big game player. How do you not draft him? Los Angeles. How do you not draft him, New York? How do you not draft him, Orlando? How do you not draft him, Detroit? Kudos to Utah, who turned Trey Lyles into Donovan Mitchell, and they they traded up. They traded up. They said, "Oh, we got it. Oh, the Pistons didn't get him. They just knew the Pistons was gonna take it. I thought the Pistons was gonna take it. I'm like, oh, we gonna we gonna get Donovan Mitchell. You know, I wanted Malik Monk. Malik Monk went 11. I'm like, okay, we get Donovan. We good." Nah, we got basic ass Luke Kennard. Luke Kennard's not a bad player. He's a, he, he's an NBA player. He's all right. He can shoot the threes, but he does not change your franchise like Donovan Mitchell. Oh my God, I'm a fan, bro. I'm a fan for so many reasons. He's not seven foot. He not 250 pounds. He goes against all the new. Uh, analytics and all that. He just a baller. Donovan Mitchell, y'all better. 
You you woke now? All the sleepers are woke now. It's your boy BSG. I'm out of here, man.